Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? It's great to be back with you this morning. We've lit our candle to remember that Jesus, the light of the world, is with us. But this morning, our candle also represents another group of people. Today, in the life of the church, it is All Saints Day, the day when we remember the countless men and women who have gone before us, those men and women who have showed us what it means to be a Christian and have already gone to heaven to be with God. And I wonder what image comes to your mind when you picture the saints. Perhaps you picture some really old guys with no hair and long beards looking particularly holy those people we often hear about in the church that have done extraordinary things. People like St Francis, who cared for all God's creatures, or St Teresa of Avila, who was known for having great visions of God. Or perhaps you think of the saints in scripture, People like St Matthew, St Mark, St Luke and St John, those people who were around at the time of Jesus and who wrote down accounts of all that Jesus did in those days. Or maybe you might hear people say uh, that you should pray to particular saints for certain things. So for example, St Christopher is the patron saint of travel. Or St Anthony is somebody you tend to pray for if you have lost something. Or maybe you picture people in our own time, people who have done amazing things, people who have made a difference in our community and in the wider world. People like Nelson Mandela or Rosa Parks, for example. I found it really interesting over these months of lockdown that we now talk about key workers, those people whom we wouldn't be able to live without and without whom our society wouldn't be able to run in the way that it does. Your teachers uh, are listed as key workers. I'm even listed uh, as a key worker. But key workers are also those who work in the supermarkets, our cleaners, uh, people who perhaps do things that we ourselves wouldn't want to do, but who do vitally important things. People who collect our bins every week, people who bring us our post every day. They are key workers. And I want to suggest to you this morning that our key workers are living saints, that you don't have to be dead or old uh, to be a saint and that you don't even have to do anything spectacularly amazing to be a saint either. And that's why I want to suggest that another image should come to your mind when you picture the saints. And that image uh, is this one. You might be able to just see me in the corner there. And that's because what I want to say is you can be a saint as well. Because saints are simply people who point away from themselves and toward God. Saints are people who show God's power at work in the world and who with God make a difference in the places where they are. So you are a saint and you can be saintly when you are at school, uh, when you are at home, uh, when you are in your places of leisure uh, and extracurricular activities, you are a saint uh, and you can be saintly too. It's perhaps an image you've never really thought about before uh, and you might want to talk to somebody about that either at home uh, or at school. What does it mean for you to be a saint and how might you uh, be saintly in the coming week. It can be as simple as smiling at somebody across the street. It could be as simple as wearing a mask to protect a loved one. It can be as easy as sharing something with someone. Whatever it is, you can be a saint 
and you should try to be a saint too. But don't worry, it's not as hard as it might first seem. One of the ways in which we can become saints is to ask God for the strength to do his will, to do the things that he wants us to, so that we might show his love to others. So let's pray for that strength now. Father God, we thank you for the saints of old, for those men and women down the ages who have shown us what it means to love you and to love our neighbour. Help us in our own time, in the here and now, to be your saints, to be people who shine your light and share your love. Give us the strength and the grace to do those simple and yet profound tasks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.